Julia Anto here with Elite FTS. We have one of our newer power lifters from our power lifting team here today. Abby is 16. She's new to the sport. Uh, she's been lifting for a few years, but she actually has a history in gymnastics and cheerleading. So this has been kind of a fun little project to work with her on improving her lifts, uh, despite some of the compensations that she's been having with her prior sport. So I'm going to have Abby get under the bar and do a couple reps of squats so you can kind of see some of the things that we've been working with and then some ideas on how to correct some of those patterns. She has a history of being an extension from all of the backflips back handsprings and all the gymnastics moves that she's been doing. So we've been working a lot with her. So Abby, go ahead and give us a couple reps here. I want you to watch from the beginning. As she does everything, I'm going to walk you through it from her, 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 her unrack, which I'll go over here in a minute. Go ahead and do a few reps for me here. We can already notice a lot of extension. If you notice at the bottom of the squat, she already corrected it because she knows we're watching her, okay? She gets into a little bit of extension. She gets a tiny little bit of that butt wink that people see. Go ahead and do one more. Much better, okay, go ahead and rack it. Now, when we see that, okay, because of her natural tendency to move into extension. A lot of people will start off their squat movement in a good position and then they get into extension and they kick back in the bottom. So let me ask you this, having her or telling her to sit back in a squat, would that be a really good cue to give her? Probably not because she's already naturally going to want to go into that sit back position. So from the start, Abby, go ahead and get, get under the bar. First thing I want to do with her is to be able to get her into a position to where she's already starting from a neutral spine from the unrack position. So if she were to start in extension hips back, that's going to set her up from the start it kind of in a poor position. So hips under her. So now when she goes to unrack it, she is going to unrack it with her hips and her legs together. So I'm going to have her take a little bit of a step forward just to hit, not that far, come back a little bit. There we go. Hips under you. Now we can get her whole body underneath her. Now she's in a much better position. So now go ahead and unrack. Good. Now two steps back. Good. Perfect. Okay. Now from that position, we're going to tell her to get a little bit of that butt tuck. So I'm going to have her squeeze her glutes, big breath, abs nice and tight. Go ahead and open those knees up. Instead of thinking about sitting your hips back, Abby, I want you to just kind of sit straight down into a squat like there's a box right underneath you. Much better. We've eliminated that position, that hips back position, that extension. Do one more for me. Open the knees. Come up. Good. Go one more. Correct that pelvis. Yes. Now go. And up. Good. That last one was perfect. Go ahead and rack it. Now, obviously, as we get into a heavier load, we can probably tell that that's going to be a little bit of a struggle for her. So we're going to show you one thing that might be of assistance. Now, Assuming that she has a little bit of an of a athletic background in gymnastics, we might try to figure out where some of those strengths and weaknesses are, but we can already tell that being able to coordinate her quads with her glutes and hamstrings, it's not that they're necessarily weak, but it's timing everything together. So I'm going to have her do a goblet squat. Go ahead and face the bar. I'm going to have you put your heels up on this black mat. So step back so your heels are here. We're going to stay with a closer stance because now this is going to really allow us to put a little bit more into those quads. Go ahead and hold the handles of the kettlebell in front of you. Good. It's going to force position here. Okay. I actually want her to be able to stay in this tucked position, allow those knees to travel forward a little more, and we're going to see how she ends up compensating as she goes into this position. Okay, good. We can see that a little bit of extension at the bottom, so I'm going to have her try to stay a little bit more forward in your toes. Don't think about sitting back on your heels so much. Keep a little more pressure into the toes. Better. Good. Tuck, squeeze your glutes. Ah. So what I want you to do on this one, I want you to not stick your butt out. I want you to just come straight down into it. Yes. Now from there, you can see we've eliminated that swing back with her hips. Do one more for me like that. Better and up, good. Now, did you feel that a little bit more in the front on your quads, okay? So for her as accessory movements or supplemental movements, this might be a good exercise for her to really learn how to engage those quads a little bit more while maintaining more of a neutral spine. Let that come to your neck, cock the wrists. Nope, the other way, you had it right. Yep, now you see how that stopped? If you let your shoulders go, it can keep coming. Yeah. So you keep those shoulders in, and keep the, the elbows up and the arms at 45 degrees. And it's gonna be somewhere over your chin or throat. 